Let's go ahead and add some clouds because our sky is a little bit boring. We have it kind of interesting details. Look, all this nice sunset, -y, but we want to add some of those clouds. I'm going to just create a very basic, simple cameras cloud and you can click just create new and you can see it's great. Beautiful look clouds um, and we want to keep them. So I'm going to disable them for now. So they're not visible and I want to click and create one more. So now we have a two cameras clouds They look kind of similar. Only one, this one, I want to add a little bit more whispering and other ones will be heavy. So we'll take a new ones. We have a two ones, take a top one. Let's go take density and take density all the way to maybe about one or two percent. So you'll see how it's just slightly those whisper kind of almost clouds right there, something covering. So let's pop up details on this one. And I want also altitude drop down on those clouds. Okay. So this is will be covering a little bit more close to the mountains kind of look clouds. Again, um, we can work a little bit on opacity because let's go actually see what we have on opacity, a little bit too thick. So I want them have a little bit more softer look. So let's go take opacity, maybe even down. Okay. So there will be a bit fluffy density one. Let's take cover down. It's too many. I want just a little bit right there and maybe reduce details and we'll take altitude variation. Let's pop up hundred percent. So we'll have it nice on top of clouds kind of going. There you go. That is a little bit some details there. So the sky not so boring at that time. Again, altitude, if it's too high, we can do go down to 500 meters, maybe bring even down. Yeah, right there. So it's touching our mountains. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's go to bring a little bit cover back up like around there. So we have a little bit more of those clouds covering. Okay, details down. You can play a little bit with the settings. See um, overall, so you have a very nice but idea of this. This is an even kind of cover of the clouds is what I'm looking after. Okay, now we're done with this. Let's go re-enable our other clouds. And you can see we have it now very interesting clouds. They almost work by itself already, except a few things I want to do. I want to add altitude variation higher and notice right there on the top, we'll have it more details coming on the top of our clouds as well. Maybe take a little bit density down. So the one kind of more blended into our lighting. Okay. And because they're 800 and about 300, yeah, let's pop up a little bit height on them. So our top is going to raise because of that. I'm not sure if I like it this way, but no, it's actually 300 was look a little bit better. So we'll take it down, but it is also kind of fill up very good. Um, detail amount because altitude is 800. We could add a little bit more details, but it's add kind of those grainies. I don't know if I want at this point. We can play around with the idea of decreasing amount of details, which will lose some of those right on the edges. Or we can also increase a little bit and play between those two, see which one will give it us more interesting look on the clouds. But overall, I don't want to go too much on a twinking on these clouds because they come up very well. So they have a very nice look. Okay. Um, at this point, let's go click OK. And let's just render our preview. Okay, and as rendering, I can see a couple of things. One, the hour light that add details bring some of those not very nice lighting. So maybe even disable this light. So maybe give it this darker. Side lights, which is given us got rays supposed to from this area. We maybe want to switch from the quadric light to the spotlight. So it gives it us a little bit more directions without spilling all over the sky. 
and maybe add a little bit more fog right to the ground. So just small touches. And I think overall it will work very well. So let's go ahead, pause this our render. You can see right here how much details we're adding. Okay, let's go to um, select all our plants right now. And just group them. So we know all right there. Next, this aquatic light right there above the camera. So I'm actually going to disable for now. So I want darker. We'll go to atmosphere editor and we'll go in sky fog. So in this point, let's go take increase ground density, pop up a little bit more in this haze and just slightly on the haze. So you can see what we've done. We add a little bit more of the uh, distance kind of to our scenery. Okay, maybe, you know, maybe even pop up a little bit more in this way. So it's add kind of more ground to this look. Okay, let's go to add pop up a little bit higher. Oh no, smog, so give it this distance. I want to almost get loose kind of all that ground behind the flowers. So there you go. That has got more mystery look. Again, this is more landscape. We don't have it any, if you want any specific details, you can put a plant on the top. And actually, it's maybe what we're showing going to do in this case. So like right here, remember, you always want to save your work. So as you progress, click and save your work. And let's go ahead and add our plant. We'll go to select um, elder tree that one okay this is will be our called hero tree so it will be right on the middle it will be our focal point except what i want to do i want to edit this tree not fancy very edit what we need to do you just take this diameter and drop diameter slightly down okay and we'll take now and we'll add this one quite a bit so it's add all of these branches will start twisting. Okay, so let's go ahead and click OK now. Okay, so you can see it's look a little bit weird. That's what I wanted. We'll go to shrink it. It's kind of all twisty things. But again, this will be our kind of focal point almost. So we'll just go and bring right around there. Let's rotate. So let's look a little more towards camera like this. Oops. Okay, and again, bring maybe closer. So around there. So this is will help when you look on a picture. You want somewhere your vision kind of stop, um, your visual hook or place, and providing some like this plant right there. It will help us to get a bit more off center right there. It will help us to focus on some of details of this landscape. Okay, let's go ahead to our other light. Remember the gut rays. And I want to actually bring a little bit closer. See when we start highlighting and bring a little bit more of those details into the scenery. So bring kind of almost by the tree. It should start lighting the tree. There you go. Kind of a little bit more interesting. And let's bring even closer. Yeah, so let's bring a little bit more details right there. So give it those rays. Okay, a little bit down. So yeah, it's right, you can see kind of give it a nice, nice race going on. And maybe even come closer, cover this area, give it this. Glowing, I think this is look nicer. Okay, let's do one more preview at this moment. Okay, so right here is render completed. 
the mountains again the far away kind of can see shapes maybe it'll bring a little bit closer i like how this lines um let's place one more yellow kind of tree right here so it's matching slightly i do like this area this has come up very nicely and we can maybe even bring camera a little bit lower overall i think it's look very good okay so let's go ahead and we'll go to create one more plant so we'll go take um, European ash so we'll just select this one and we'll bring this tree on uh, right around there so it will be kind of give it this coloring scheme to keep it warmer kind of color okay let's go to atmosphere editor and this is kind of almost final touch up slightly so what i noticed was a little bit too yellowish to reddish so we'll just take decay down it's given us this colder kind of look right there okay we can take slightly haze down will give it us much more glowing in atmosphere and we'll take down as well haze take a fog so it will bring a little bit more on the mountains there you go just a little bit clearer i think it was a little bit too much of the yellow should be for too warm so we'll take a little bit more down yeah give it this kind of nice beautiful look okay i think we're done what next i want to do is take this quality boost and be sure you set at least at zero okay we will have it some grain in the clouds because we're doing all this stuff but i won't just keep it for now this temperature okay we're all done clouds all set good okay next let's go in our render options and i want to render just a little bit higher for the purpose of tutorial and you want to render at least its final quality so it will take a little bit time to render we'll go ahead let's go click on the render right now and i'm going to pause this tutorial and we'll come back when the render is completed okay right here we finished render and you can see it took about almost three hours for us two hours 40 minutes and we'll look on the image it's actually come up very nice so we don't want any exposure yet and you can see we have a nice mountains come up look very good and we have our details and overall it's nice landscape we can play a little bit more maybe with the lighting on the background or the other things but what i want to do next actually i want to save this and post process a little bit inside the photoshop so next portion of this um, tutorials will go inside the photoshop and if you're interested you can watch that part or you can just finish with this and post your work.